Good evening, everyone. It is once again Ted the Speed Learner. So I am the event leader here in Macon County, and with me is Scott Bassett. He is our MC this evening. So, ladies, gentlemen, and speed players, welcome to the Relay for Life of Macon County. We're about to begin the 12 hour journey to celebrate survivors, to remember the loved ones we've lost that are taken too soon from this cancer, and to fight again, fight back against this disease. Deb McCammon will give a blessing on our reader. Good evening. Uh, I've had a lot of people tell me this that they've been praying that there would not be a rainstorm today. And that it was great weather. And wow, it happened. But the one thing that you guys pray for is the wind. <laughs> And you know that that's what it is. Sometimes we have to use the and we look at the door. Um, but touch somebody's shoulder, put your hand on their shoulder, let's bless each other tonight, right? Heavenly Father, we thank you for this opportunity to come to you tonight and honor all these purpose and all these names and the, all these luminaries, Lord. We thank you for their lives and we thank you for what they bring. Uh, what they come through and what the things that they may be going through, Lord, lift them up, hold them high, let them know that they've got these, all these people here behind me, Lord. Um, be, be with each one, Lord. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face to shine upon you. The Lord lift up his grace unto you and give you peace for every man. In Christ's holy name I pray. Amen. All right, to start off our uh, relay, uh, we are uh, going to uh, have the national anthem, and it's going to be sung tonight by State of Grace. Yes. Cancer. We are attacking from all angles. This evening we come together because all of us have a tie to cancer because the fight against this disease is personal. Most of you know I come to relay tonight because I've lost many of those ones to cancer and I've had many friends and family to hear those words as well. And 
I am determined that I am going to fight with the need until those words are never spoken to another person. I hope that we make that choice as well. We will relay until cancer is cured. We also have a big round of applause to the sponsors of our event here tonight. Without their generous monetary and in-kind donations, this event would not be possible. And we can't say thank you enough for their partnerships in the fight against cancer. Let's give up a nice round of applause for our sponsors if we could, please. extending thanks some of our fellow relayers have poured their hearts and their souls into making the 2018 Macon County Relay for Life the amazing event that it is. We're talking about the event leadership team and of course those folks that you are seeing here in the uh, red relay shirts. These folks give countless volunteer hours to make this 12 hours of the year count in the fight against cancer. Can we have a round of applause for the event leadership team? call it. It is once again Ted the Speed Learner and I am here at the Richland Community College here in Decatur, Illinois. It is Friday, July 20th, 2018 and this is the Relay for Life. I hope you enjoy this video footage. Now as you probably well know, uh, YouTube has rules about music so I'm going to try to talk over the music as best as I can so that they don't sit there and try to say, well, you know, you know how that one goes. So, if you don't mind my commentary while I do this, that'd be great. Um, it, it, it's either me talking to you or they have absolute silence, and I don't think you want absolute silence. So, I'll just go ahead and tell you whatever I can, and uh, then we'll just go on from there. Anyway, I want to thank you very much for tuning in and watching this. And uh, it was a great pleasure being out here. It is a very nice temperature out here. It's overcast, so we don't have massive sunburn here. So that's really nice. It isn't raining. We thought it was going to rain, but it rained last night. Thankfully it did. That way we didn't have to deal with it tonight. So that's another good thing. Alrighty. So in just a couple of seconds here, I'm going to turn the camera off just briefly until everybody makes it around the, the track again and then I'll turn the camera right back on so that way we're not wasting film or whatever well I know it's really film it's more like a chip but we don't want to waste the chip so there you go and we don't want to waste the electricity either I mean my battery holds just so much energy so there you go alrighty so I'm going to stop this for just a second and I will be back stay tuned and we are back. It is once again Ted the Speed Learner and this is the Relay for Life 2018. It is July 20th, 2018. And in order to give you guys the sound that I'm going to give you, I have to over talk the speakers. I'm sorry about that, but it's the only way I can do this. So anyway, as you well know, I am the living map of the Looking for Lincoln Heritage Coalition. Anyway, I'll tell you some stuff about the Looking for Lincoln Heritage Coalition. Uh, they erected their signs back in 2009. Every sign that you find, there's 215 of these puppies, and every one of them has a medallion attached to it. And kids are supposed to pencil rub the medallions for souvenirs. Now, you probably are asking, how in the heck did I get involved in this in the first place? Well, 
Back in 2009, when I when I when I started uploading videos to YouTube, I decided to go out to the Razzle Dazzle Good Time Parade, and because of that, I was out there and I was videotaping. And when the parade was over, I turned my camera off and started walking backwards out of the crowd. And when I did, I bumped into one of the 215 signs. Anyway. To make a long story short, I ended up contacting the Looking for Lincoln Heritage Coalition about it, and then I told them their map was wrong, which I, I think the signs are great, but the thing is, their map was wrong. Well, when they realized that their map was a little off, they decided to go ahead and let me be the map. And I have been videotaping sign after sign after sign ever since. And one of the first places I went to, let's see, uh, well, let me see if I can tell you some stories Some about of the that. Some come around the track teams. Give them a big round of applause. It's the survivors and the caregivers. Anyway, well, there's Gary Lowe's a balloon. Yep, I bet you saw that. I'd pursue it, but I'm kind of focused on the on the walkers right now. Anyway, so let's give it a couple of seconds here and. Uh, uh, as these survivors walk around, uh, I may end up shutting the camera off for a second, then turning it back on. So just just give me a second here. Well, maybe not. Maybe they're getting around uh, quickly enough. Okay. Well, <laughs> I'll just keep right on talking. But let me tell you about some of the places I've been. Uh, let's see. Oh boy. Let me see if I can remember some of these things. Uh, well, some of the first signs I videotaped was right there, Indicator. And I remember one of the first times I went around, it was a cold winter's day. I'm not kidding you, that was pretty cold. And you can see this if you look at one of my early Looking for Lincoln videos. You can see there was actual snow everywhere and a whole nine yards. It was cold. Uh, but I did show you guys the location of the signs. And then later on, I went back out there. And when I did, I was then able to actually videotape the signs themselves, not just their locations. And therefore, I showed you guys what these signs actually look like. I've done this more than once. Uh, back in 2016, I went around the downtown area of Decatur, and I videotaped sign, well, not, not the signs themselves, but their locations. And I showed you all of downtown Decatur, all nine yards. It, it's it's really beautiful down there, it really is. And if you ever get to downtown Decatur, I'd recommend taking a look at it. But anyway, uh, I've been to Clinton, Illinois. Not too much to tell you about that one. I, I don't remember all that much. I, I do remember that I actually made two trips to Clinton. Uh, the first time I'd actually gone to Lincoln, Illinois, Mount Pulaski, Illinois. Uh, I went to Atlanta, Illinois. When I went to Atlanta, Illinois, they have a 50s and 60s shop. I've covered this twice now on my YouTube channel. The second time was when I went up there to videotape Route 66 Coalition Wayside Markers, okay? And so I videotaped that, and when I went up there the first time, the Route 66 Coalition, uh, well, okay, back up. When I went up to videotape the Looking for Lincoln sign in Atlanta, Illinois, I was across the street from the 50s and 60s shop, and when I went over there, the guy that ran the store asked me to videotape his shop, and I did, and therefore, boom. So, that's what you actually see in that particular video. But anyway, uh, I do remember that particular trip because I went, when I went to Lincoln, I did just video tape the sign over there, which was great. It was right there by the Amtrak station. I also videotaped the outside of the National Weather Service, and I also videotaped Lincoln's covered wagon while I was there. So anyway, but that same trip, I did actually go to Clinton. I videotaped three of the signs out there. That was, Those were all the signs on the north side of town, and it was kind of cool that day, so that's why I had to make a second trip, and then I, on my second trip, I went downtown in Clinton and videotape the rest of them. Uh, 
Okay, and I do remember one of my first trips to look for looking for Lincoln signs. I actually went to Springfield because I was trying to find a particular sign. And when I was over there, I actually found the sign at the entrance of the Lincoln Memorial Gardens. And when I found that particular sign, I thought it would have enough time to go come all the way back from Springfield to go back to Taylorville and videotape their sign at the Christian County Courthouse, the old Christian County Courthouse. Well, unfortunately, by the time I got to Taylorville, it was a wintry type day, and I got there, uh, well, it was sundown when I got there, so as you can see, I didn't quite make it. But anyway, let's go on here. Uh, anyway. And for my viewers, I want to tell you, we're having a big party in Springfield on August 26th. I will be there to videotape. Well, anyway, from back to my viewing audience, I'll tell you some more stories about those looking for All right, everyone, we're now going to be hearing from our presenting sponsor, the uh, Decatur Youth Hockey Association is here, and uh, we want to uh, say hi to Mark Birch. Come on up here, and uh, we'll let you uh, talk to the group. Thank you, Mark. Thank you. Now, we take another step forward to all of those who are being here today, the elimination of this horrible disease of cancer. At last year's event, while helping set out luminary buckets, someone asked me the name on the first bucket so they could take it to the place on the track. The name on that bucket was Nancy Madden, a girl that I went to grade school, junior high, and high school, and the first girl that I realized that I kind of liked her. And she died from cancer, and her name was on that bucket. I was told of about 1,500 buckets, and for someone to ask me that name, or on that first bucket, I just struck it and vote. I already had a commitment to this cause because my mother and my wife's mother both died from cancer. But this reinforced my resolve of how important this cause has become to me. DYJ is a Event. You're not going to miss a thing. I'm videotaping this for you. Sure, last fall, Just look under the name Speed. And we donated oh. almost $21,000 to this call last year. <laughs> and we have set a goal of reaching $25,000 this year so we can help eliminate this horrible, horrible disease in the face of this earth. Well, everyone that is born is going to die. No one deserves to die for cancer. Thank you all for being here today to spread to this noble cause to put an end to this scourge of disease that has affected every person that walks the face of this earth. Thank you. Thank you, Mark. We appreciate you guys and your participation and your gifts. Thank you so much. All right, who's ready to start walking? I say let's get this relay underway. Our first team that is going to be coming out onto the track to start walking. Let's bring them out. Still defeating that cancer. Anyway, 
I'll go ahead and keep right on talking so that we don't get bumped by YouTube. Hey, Walmart Walketeers! Come on out here and get lined up, guys. Anyway, let's see if I can remember some of our other trips. I, I do remember the trip I took to actual Springfield. I know there's 48 signs in Springfield. Now, I actually made a special trip. Cancer Care Specialist. I actually made a special trip to Springfield because of the Looking for Lincoln sign that is over there at the Illinois National Guard Military Museum. Yeah, according to their map, it's supposed to be on the actual gate that uh, surrounds the National Guard Military Museum. The only problem is, it's not on the gate. It's actually in their parking lot. You have to start heading towards the castle, and you look off to the left, and there's this tree, and once you get to that tree... Our next team on the track is Woody's Warriors. And right under the... Uh, Right under the tree is the actual looking for Lincoln sign, so that's why we had to make that special trip. But there's a, there's other signs. I do remember going to Athens, Illinois, and I was videotaping the sign over there, and there was this gentleman, and he was looking at me, and I was like... On walkabout. And I was like, well, why are you looking at me? And he says, he says, uh, I'm the curator of this museum. Would you like to take a look at it? And I said, well, sure, of course. And so I got a chance to videotape the 8th Museum because of it. Our next team on the track, St. Mary's Hospital. Anyway, I do remember the trip to downtown Springfield. One anyway, <laughs> I got a lot of fans out here. What can I say? Anyway, um, when I went to downtown Springfield, uh, the Great Western Depot was one of the biggest signs I wanted to go videotape so badly because it's in such a remote location. Our next team on the track, DMH. But I also met a, uh, I, met, I met a guy, he was riding a bicycle in downtown Springfield, and he tried to tell me a whole bunch of Springfield history. I'm like, uh, okay. What else shall I tell you? Well, okay. Let's see. Now, I remember I went to Champaign to videotape their signs, and boy, that was a cold, rainy day. I cannot tell you that. And I was kind of surprised at the actual locations. I, I really was kind of surprised about that. Uh, let's see. I videotaped... on the track. Hostage. I, I do remember the... Uh, trip to St. Joe, Homer, Tolono. Now, the first time I went there, it wasn't all that eventful. It was a little warm, but it wasn't all that eventful. The second time I went over there, it was actually to take photos of this for Red Nose Day. I'm sure those of you who've been following me on Facebook or have followed me on Instagram have seen the photos that I took. When, when I took those photos, um, we actually got caught in a traffic jam. I, I, I had a I had a friend of mine take me up there, and we got caught the in a traffic jam. The track is the, MF, the MFHS, NHS, Trojans, trouncing out cancer. Anyway, I got caught in a traffic jam at St. Joe. Apparently, they had a wreck, and they had road construction, and there was no way to Let's get around. Let's give it up for our students who are out here spending their Friday night. The night Let's see, what else can I tell you? Uh, well, I can tell you about that trip to Vandalia. Yeah, that was kind of warm. Well, it was actually it was an October day and it was Our still warm. On the track, ladies, angels. And I will be honest and tell you that when I went down there, um, I didn't think on the track is Jeff's jokes. I didn't honestly think I would get all the videotaping done in time, but I actually did. I got all that Our stuff. Next team on the track is Friends for Relay. Our next team on the track, WAND News Fights Back. There we go. Yeah. 
I'm kind of waving to these people as I'm talking to you guys. Our next team, all the way from Mount Zion, Gosno Great Angels. I'm trying to make sure that the YouTubers don't take my video down because. They moved here, folks. That's what I heard. Yeah. They're something. I just don't want to have them bombing me. Our next for, team, Walgreens. I just don't want them bombing me for YouTube, you know. So anyway, let's see. What else can I tell you? Our next you? team, Ralph's Pub Alumni Club. Well, I can definitely tell you that uh, I went to Beardstown, and when I when I went over there, I actually ended up next in. Team out, pause for cause. When I went out there originally, it was. Next team out is Land of Lincoln Credit Union. It was actually raining. Uh, it was Our next team out is Thurston's Cancer Kickers. I had to sit there in the car at a gas station for 10 minutes before I could videotape the signs in Rushville. Then Our I got next team out is Moms on a Mission. Then I was actually able to videotape the signs in Beardstown. Now. I had a friend of mine go with me to Quincy, Illinois, and he was really shocked when he found out that there were actually 22 signs. next team out is X29. That there were actually 22 signs out there. Uh, I actually dropped my camera in Quincy, and that's why part of the park footage got erased. I fully plan to go back over there because there is one more sign that I have not gotten. All right, folks, let's get walking. It is the Relay for Life. All right. Well, apparently they've now introduced the teams, and I'm going to go ahead and turn this off for now, and when we have an event, I'll let you know. Talk to you later, and stay tuned.